Out of all the composers around the world, the American Guild of Organists selected an Auburn professor, Dr. Rosephany Powell, to create a work based on a biblical character. She spent a year writing The Cry of Jeremiah. Cry is, is, is a more respectable way of saying complaint. Hear the word of the Lord. Since Rosephany Powell narrates part of the performance, she relies on a conductor to direct the choir and orchestra. Her conductor is her husband, fellow Auburn professor, Dr. William Powell. She's the composer, it's her piece. It's got to go the way she wants it to go because it's her concept. A lot of things I would have to clean up with another composer or show my interpretation. We save time because he's already there. Auburn students have performed the cry of Jeremiah several times. The satisfaction is just seeing it all come together. There is four movements. And the first three movements are just talking, are three different complaints against God. The first movement, he is like many preachers today. He said his, that God's word is him, in him like a fire. It's not his word, it's like fire, burning fire, burning. And if, even if he tries not to preach it, he has to. I must declare the word of the Lord. Then in the second movement, he goes and expresses to God, you have deceived me. And all this happens in one chapter. He complains, I've been deceived by God. In the third movement, he says, cursed be the day I was born. And in that last movement, as we move through cursed, where he comes to reconcile, He's the better for what he's gone through. And even though the problem itself doesn't change, but our perspective changes, and then therefore we have hope. Everything he's gone through and will go through will make him stronger. And because of that, he can shout, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I think really for me, the key word would be hope. Trust in God, believe that he will deliver you. That's what the message of the song is. That's, those are the actual words from the song. There's hope and you can, you can move forward. We go through a difficult place and we're angry about being there. And then when we look back down the road, we say, I wouldn't want to do it again, but that, that place changed me. And in a way we're thankful for it. And I think that's the cycle of life for the believer, to end here in a place of bitterness, but ultimately saying, regardless, God is good. After one final preview performance here at Tuskegee with the Golden Voices Concert Choir, it's on to the big stage in the Big Apple, New York City, the Lincoln Center for Performing Arts. It, it'll be overwhelming. It'll, it'll be one of joy, especially it's not often that you get a, a composer gets to be a part of the performance process. If it does what it has done in the past, I will receive great pleasure because I should end up seeing that in the audience. It'll be a very sophisticated audience and to know that they have been moved by this work, uh, that's what a composer lives for.